Hey y'all and welcome to Monarch's Market and welcome to series number three of the Coastal Inspired DIYs. Now I know I said the last two weeks in a row that I was going to do some sunflowers and bees, but as you can see today is Friday and this is my last Monday's video. Guys, I have been so stinking sick and I have no idea what's wrong. The doctors are still trying to figure it out. So I'm not going to dwell on that. I'm going to get right into the video, but I would love your prayers. So let's jump right on into DIY number one. So for DIY number one, I have this cute little surfboard shaped tray. Now that's what I'm going to call it. It's a surfboard because that's what I think it's supposed to look like. I'm using the white nautical rope and this little tray that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And it is shaped like a little surfboard to me. So what I did is I started in the middle because I wanted to do sort of a round design. I went back and forth in my mind whether to go straight up and down, side to side, or around in a circle. And I just went with the circular pattern. I don't know why. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason to why I actually chose the circular pattern, but I really, really like the way that it come out in the end. So what you see is me just taking this nautical rope and going around it and around and around until I make it just a big circle. And then I have to start cutting the pieces one by one to keep it going in that pattern that I started. And this actually gave me a couple of really, really good ideas for my next video. So hang tight and watch what I do in the next video with this in mind. It's not going to be trays, but I don't want to give it away. <laughs> so just make sure you come back next Monday for DIY. I mean, for um, series number four in this Coastal Inspired section. So again, I just continue to cut little pieces off one by one by one until I finish the whole entire little surfboard tray. And then, as you can see, around the edges are pretty rough. So I knew ahead of time what I wanted to do was just continue with that same nautical rope and glue around the edge and kind of conceal and cover up all of that and give it a finished look. But once I did that, there was still a, some stuff on the side that you could see that was kind of, it just didn't cover up all of the mess. I mean, honestly, I'm just going to be honest. It was just a hot mess on the sides. So I did this one on the top and then I went back and did one sort of right under it on the side. And that did cover up everything and concealed all of that yucky fraying and all of that glue and everything that you see. So once I did that, I made a couple of little handles and completely forgot to continue to look at my phone and it had died and was not recording anymore. So all I did was just took a couple of little pieces of that rope and made myself a handle for each side. And that was it. That's how it turned out. And I just thought this was as cute as it could be. Now, if you wanted to, you could probably go in and paint that, you know, just kind of whitewash it or add some of the blue or really kind of the sky's the limit. But now for DIY number two, I made myself a little bead, beaded garland. I love these beaded garlands. If you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know that I have made several of these and I absolutely had to have one for this particular series too. So as you see, that was the Waverly Chalk Paint in Ocean and White. And that's the colors that I'm gonna be using for my beads. So I strung eight of each of these beads onto a pipe cleaner. And for me, that is just the easiest way to keep control of these beads and paint them all at one time. I've seen different crafters do it so many different ways and this is just the absolute easiest way for me so once I got 
everything painted and it dried, I started with my twine and just went, you know, blue, white, blue, white, blue, white until I got it all finished, which was pretty simple to do. So after I got everything painted and placed on the twine, I ended up deleting by accident the footage of where I put it all together and made my little tassel. So I'm going to link below a video that shows you how to do that. But this little kit right here is a summer wind chime kit that they have out right now. And look what it has as part of it. It has this cute little seashell to hang from the end of it. So I stole that out of there for the tip end of my beaded garland and it was absolutely perfect for it. So I will use that wind chime set and then just use something else for the bottom because I've got a lot of things to choose from, but this was just too perfect for this little beaded garland. And I knew I had to have that little seashell out of there. So I took this blue paint and painted it and then I was going to go over with some white and I should have let the blue dry because what happened is it mixed together to make a different color blue, which actually turned out kind of pretty. So I'm not mad about it, but I wish I would have let it dry because it did not give it the look I was going for. But again, the look that it did give wasn't so bad that it made me want to start all over. So I just went ahead and took that little piece and tied it to the bottom and that wrapped up making that little beaded garland. So you can see if you are intimidated by these little beaded garlands, how extremely easy they are to make. And like I said, I've got one in every color in the rainbow and I just love them. I think they're just a cute little addition to set on a shelf or on a tray or anywhere for that matter. But look how cute that turned out. And I really like the color of that seashell. Like I said, I like the way it turned out. So let me know down in the comments below what you think about this whole little bead of garland and how it turned out. So let's jump into DIY number three, and it's these cute little boat paddles. Now let me show you how I made these little boat paddles. They were so stinking easy. I just took these two little wooden spatulas from the Dollar Tree that you can get in the kitchen section and took my white paint and just sort of gave it a, I would say a coat of paint, but I didn't give it a full coat of paint because I wanted it to look old and worn and beat up. And that's exactly the look I got. And then I took this Baker's Twine right here and wrapped around there to cover that hole. Now, once I got the hole covered on both of them, down towards the bottom of that little spatula, I went ahead and wrapped a little bit of twine around there because it just, it looked off a little bit to me to have the twine just around the top. And when I put the twine around the bottom piece, it just brought it all together for me. And I love the way it turned out. And I thought it just was the perfect addition to the little boat paddle by adding that little, right there, adding that little space. I mean, adding that twine to that little space right there and just wrapping it around a few times. Now, let me tell you why I picked this twine. If you notice, it's the blue and white stripe. And if you've seen my other two videos in this series, you know I was using some navy and white twine, nautical rope, I'm sorry. I was using some navy and white nautical rope. And this is the perfect little mimic to that blue and white nautical rope. And you will see me use this several more times throughout this series because it's, like I said, it's perfect and it matches that nautical rope that I've been using. It's the perfect color for the theme. And when I bought it, I grabbed me three or four rolls and I'm sure I'm gonna go through every one of them. Now they're 500 feet of twine. So there's quite a bit of twine on each roll for just a dollar. But once I got it wrapped around the top and the bottom of both of these little spatulas, I was done and I just don't think it could have turned out any cuter. Now, I started to get my little Cricut Joy out and write something to put on there and I just couldn't come up with a saying. 
that I liked, so I just left them plain, and I think they still turned out as cute as they can be. So make sure you leave me a comment down below and let me know which one of these three were your favorites. And be sure to come back. I'm hoping Monday I can have you another video out. Like I said at the beginning, I've been just extremely sick. So today video is actually from last Monday. Should have been done last Monday. But anyway, I'm not going to dwell on me feeling bad. So this is what those little boat paddles turned out like, and I think they are just perfect replica of the real ones. And this is everything all together. And this is my video for you this week. So make sure you leave me a comment down below. Absolutely give me a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, just do me a favor and reach over and click that little red subscribe button and then click on all and it will tell you every time I upload something new. So I will see you Monday, hopefully. If not, just keep checking back. It will be soon. I appreciate you coming back. Y'all know I love you. I hope you have the most amazing Mother's Day. If you are a mother or an expected mother, happy Mother's Day, and God bless you all. See you next time. Bye now.